Hey, what's up everybody? This is Seb the Loeb with another Flatsome tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about the new release, the latest update, Flatsome 3.14. And the key feature that I would like to show you in this tutorial is the product variation swatches. And what it does, as you can see in this screenshot, it will give your product options a nice visual way of selecting those options. And before it looked something like this, having ugly drop downs to choose from. And now with this built-in functionality, you can just do this without making use of any plugin. So if you're using a plugin to, to, ma to make this possible, you need to probably do this manually for each product. So that can be a lot of work, but I think it's well worth it because it will probably be faster not working with a third party plugin. And you'll always be certain that it's um, working with the latest, latest version of Flatsome. So uh, I'm going to talk and teach you how to do this, but I'm also going to show you a few options that are available in the team options. So I'm closing this down and I'm going to do this on one of our templates that we are selling. So we are creating pre-made designs. If you don't know this, if you're just starting with Flatsome, this is a nice way of getting a professional design without spending too much time and also hiring a designer. So I'm going to go forward selecting um, our camera. And as you can see, I'm having two options. So I can choose between colors and I can choose between sizes. And the only thing what I have set up is that I have assigned a, an image to the product variations uh, colors in this case. So if you want to enable this flat some product variation swatches, you need to do this by going to WordPress to the back end, going to Flatsom and then advanced. And then here at the WooCommerce section down below, you can find the product variation swatches. So make sure you enable this scrolling down and then save all changes. Now you can go to product to your attributes. And like I said, I have colors and sizes at the moment and you can click on this, but what you need to do is click on edit to have those options available. And if you're creating a new attribute, you can see that you have those types available as well. So I'm going to colors, clicking on edit. And here you can see that I have the type available, the UX color, the UX image, and the UX label. So first I'm going to talk about the UX color because that will just give you a color picker and you can choose any kind of color. Um, we have some default sorter orders where you can select the order, you can set, set the swatch size and you can just set the shape and also saying, okay, just use the variation images. I'm going to talk about that in just a few minutes, but let's first uh, show you how this color works. So I'm going to first update and then going back to attributes and clicking on colors. I can see my actual attributes inside. And as you can see, I have already selected some colors uh, to speed up things, but clicking on that attribute, you can see that I can select any kind of color with my color picker. And what it will do, what it does is when I visiting the, the actual product page of that camera, you can see that I can now select these colors. Also going to show you quickly um, the difference in the swatch size and the shape. So here you can set the swatch size. You can, for example, go to large or maybe even extra large. I think it's way too big, but I'm just going to show you what it does. As you can see, now those product swatches are huge. And here you can set the swatch shape to square, rounded, and circle. So the rounded option will give you just a very nice little rounded shape. So rounded corners. You don't really see this with the large size, but I, I personally really like that, especially just having that at a medium size instead of those squares. And then you also have the circle. That's also very elegant. So now you have rounded options, as you can see. Um, what I also wanted to show you is I, when I choosing use variation images and meaning I'm just going to quickly show you by going to edit product, scrolling all the way down. So now I'm inside a product and as you can see, I set up already an image assigned to the specific variations. And when you're making use of the use variation image option by clicking on it, it will just replace, it will ignore everything. And then it will just replace those color swatches with the actual images that you have assigned to the product variation. 
So um, I'm just going to uncheck this. And I think, oh yeah, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about is when you don't want to make use of that product variation image that you assign to a specific product, uh, but just want to manually upload an image. And this could be really useful if you're using uh, product variations for uh, multiple products. So using the same products for that specific variation. Uh, so going forward with UX image and then going to attributes, going to colors. And then what you can do is you can upload a manual image. So just going to do this. Update. And as you can see, it's now showing an image instead of the product variation image that I assigned to the product. So I hope that makes sense. And it could be really useful if you, like I said, if you're having a product with variations that are, you're using for multiple products um, and not having that image related to the product. So maybe I'm talking in, in circles here, but I think this will make sense. Um, going back, and the last thing that I wanted to show you is that UX label option. And I think I will go forward uh, choosing that for our sizes. So going to size, clicking on edit, and then setting the type to UX label, update. And now it will still drop down, but when I refresh, you can see you have these nice little buttons. I really like this. And then you still have the option to go for rounded corners. So it will just give a little rounded edge so i think this looks really nice i'm going going to go i'm going back and the last thing that i want to change is the set the colors to match my variation images here we go All right, so now you know a little bit about the variation swatches options. Then there are a few little, few more options available. First of all, I'm going to show you what you can do on the product page itself. On the product page, a few more options available. So what I have done, I went inside the flat some team options. I'm going back, so so you know, going to flat some team options, WooCommerce product page and then scrolling down and here you can see a swatches tab here you can set the layout and what it does here you can see the variation or the attribute name it's on the left side of the actual variations but when i'm clicking on this option so the layout you can see that the actual text will be placed above the options here you can say do you want to show the tooltip well as you can see now it's showing a tooltip but you can also disable this by unchecking this so now you don't have any tooltip and as you can see once you have selected an option you will get a, a stroke or a border that has now uh, been set in an orange color but you can also change this for example to blue so now you can see we have a blue stroke uh, around it so that's one of what i wanted to show you now the last thing what i wanted to show you as well is when you go to to a shop page or a catalog page or an archive page or a category page, you can also show these options, these little options below. So what you need to do is going back, going to WooCommerce again, going to product catalog, scrolling all the way down, all the way down. And here you can see the swatches options as well. So I can choose between one option because you don't want to have all your options on this shop page. It will be too much. So you can only choose one option. In this case, I will go for colors. Let's go to cameras again. And here you can see I'm having those options available to, to see right away in my shop page. So that's really nice. And then because I have selected this, you need to scroll a little bit down and you have much more options. So you can set, set the layout to limited, meaning that uh, instead of showing all three, I only want to show two at the moment, and then I can see plus one. And this could be really useful if you're having 
a lot of uh, options available related to your product. You can set the size, of course, so the size of that thumbnail, so selecting large or small, whatever. Uh, set the shape again, so I'm going forward with circle or maybe the, the small rounded corner. And then here you can say it's the select event. So when does this image need this image needs to be changed? At the moment on a hover, but you can also say on click. So now you can you really need to click first before that image above changes. Then you can select the color, so the selection color again. So at the moment it is orange. Want to have that blue color also. And then we have a behavior. So what does it need to do uh, when you're clicking on the uh, on the image. So at the moment it will go to the product page and then you can also update the link to the selected variation. I'm going to quickly show you what this does because I really like that feature. Come on. So here, here we go. So what it does, this specific feature, go to the product page and update the link to the selected variation. So let's say I have already seen this orange version of this camera and I really like that. I've selected it, this and then clicking on the image, it will take me to the product and then it will switch to the orange already. So it will pre-select that for you. So that's a really nice little feature. And the last thing is that you can set the auto reset selection. By clicking on this, you can set some milliseconds and then you can reset what you have selected. So I'm going to show you what it does. Going back. So now when I have uh, selected, for example, the orange option, I just need to wait a few seconds and then it switches back as you can see. So that is this little reset functionality where you can set some milliseconds. So I think I've set everything at the moment for what I have seen about the uh, product variation swatches. Really like this, I'm going to upload this. If you have any questions, let me, mo let me know. I'm also going to publish this on our member area. So when you're visiting this, um, but, uh, video on YouTube, make sure you visit the member area and leave your question there because we are much more active there and there's a bunch of more tutorial videos for you available. So you can find at members.sepdeloweb.com. And again, like I told you in the beginning, we are creating pre-made templates for you for Flatsome. So have a look at that as well at sepdeloweb.com. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck with this latest update of Flatsome. Bye-bye.